Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Disillusioned Plays, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. That was a very sassy hello, it's like, hello, hello. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> uh, last time we had a spiritual encounter as Mia came back through the Karan channeling technique to help Phoenix out of a sticky situation when all hope was lost. Uh, we then had a detective at me on the ropes, but we then had to press him on one statement only, otherwise we would be penalised, which we found out the hard way on several occasions. Many, many times. <laughs> Too many times. What do, you, what, what do you mean? We immediately got the answer correct and did not at all spend 15 minutes basically randomly guessing before Sarah finally was able to figure out what you and I were sat before, there going, Duh! <laughs> before the smart one managed to figure it out. <laughs> it was all by process of elimination. <laughs> but anyway, we now have Detected at me in the palm of our hands. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, without further ado, I'm Sarah. I'm Pete. And I'm Taylor. All right, guys, let's, let's get back into this and end this case. Yes. <laughs> let's do it. Do this! <laughs> Just do it! Mis <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn that statement around... <laughs> like, switcheroo. killer real, the saw killer, Delight Killer Mr. real, real... Or <laughs> Dang it, Peter! I was Sorry. gonna make that joke and you stole it out from under me! <laughs> oh, you were too slow. <laughs> now, now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this, I apologize. <laughs> It stands to reason that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. I I impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoever could it be? Oh, oh, oh no. <gasps> Such a shock, guys. I had no <laughs> idea. Never saw that coming. <laughs> My goodness. I, I just, th there's no way. I'm t utterly shocked. <laughs> You could, have, you could have at least removed the freaking monocle and the hair from the silhouette if they wanted to at least try to suggest that it might be someone other than that. I do, I, anyway. yeah, I, I do feel like, because in the previous cases, they had the whole thing where, like, you know, a murderer, it would be like a face or something. It would be like an obscured character mm. or a silhouette of something, but they yeah. could have they could have made it not just be at me silhouette. Mm. Sorry, go it, on, it's Taylor. kind of like who's that Pokemon, right? Yeah. Like, who's that Pokemon? Yeah. yeah, it's it's Atmimon. Atmimon. <laughs> it's the murderer. <laughs> like the pro ZD sketch. Da, da, da. <laughs> Detective Atme, you saw Mask Star Damask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have known what Ron was wearing. What Ron was wearing? Ron Ron. My Ron Ron. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh -oh. what's happening? Oh. oh. It's going uh. Super Saiyan. Take a good look, everyone. Oh, I'm so glad. Deja vu. I'm so glad his theme's playing as well. Yes. I was hoping it was going to come back. <laughs> I quite like Atme's theme. Uh, uh, we, he's already... SA. I'm able to find a rival worthy of my genius. I was forced to create one by myself. Wait, what was up, guy? What this was is up? deja vu. He's already said this the last oh, time he yeah. had a mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here I am! The tragic clown which I've already said. It's almost <laughs> as if this is a slightly rehearsed scene. Yes. Like he's used, <laughs> like, you know, he's already practiced this. <laughs> Uh, that's the same <laughs> line you gave yesterday. Oh wow, the judge actually remembered something. Like, my goodness, how how meta. Uh, I I took my echinacea this morning <laughs> and my memory is actually working quite well for once. Oh dear. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. What an awfully complicated incident. You're telling me. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke Atme, who was, in turn, <laughs> blackmailing Rom Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke Atme tried to fla 
flame. Flame. <laughs> <laughs> he, he began a flame war against Ron Delight. He took to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and upon killing his blackmailer, Luke Atme tried to frame Ron Delight. He then claimed to be guilty as Mask Star Damask in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with this plan. To use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Ron? Um... Yeah. At any rate, <laughs> it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me? <laughs> I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me! <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> oh dear. Why wouldn't he be... <laughs> um, about the verdict? I know. You never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that. Uh, but... I am. Um, I really am Mask Star to Mask. Shut up! 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 Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Nick, Nick is just like making strangling hands on the stand. Yes. So, I'm sorry, this is the wrong voice. <laughs> so, thanks to that trial yesterday, I I'm innocent now, right? Uh, uh, what was it you said? Double. Jeopardy? No, oh, you gotta play that card. Uh, now that you mention it, I've been careless. <laughs> careless? Uh, what? So what? Is it, he's gonna be found innocent of it, so now he can just proudly proclaim himself that he's Mask Star to Mask or something? I, yeah, because he can't be trialed um, again for it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, actually. for th for that specific theft, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the thing about Double Jeopardy. It applies only to the specific crime you were found innocent of. Mm, if which... he stole something else, they could be like, yeah, this guy, he's uh, he's already confessed to being Mask Star to Mask in a previous court case. We couldn't try him for that one, but uh, here it is established his modus operandi, his <laughs> costume, everything. Yeah, I was so gonna... we can pretty much just lock him up. <laughs> yeah, so pal, I mean, what we have learned from this is that we absolutely cannot charge him for the theft of the sacred urn of Karine Village. But. <laughs> <laughs> But, but there's about uh, five other things that have been stolen that we can charge him for. It's it's not he's innocent uh, well, of being uh, a murderer and therefore he can now be mask star to mask forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think? Mia? Um. What do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. Well, holy crap. <laughs> A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was once found innocent. No, that's not what that. I mean. <laughs> well, in the in continue. I was gonna say in the world of Phoenix Wright, which does ha don't forget this has a three day trial system. That's <laughs> like apps. You know, you have to find everything in those three days, and that's the absolute truth. Yep, that's <laughs> it. So then, mask star to mask is really innocent. It would seem so. For now. F for now? Now then, this court finds the defendant. Slowly lowers his gavel. <laughs> Anyone object? Uh, no. Not <laughs> guilty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've put the letters up on the screen. Now nothing else can happen. <laughs> oh, it's all getting in my coffee. <laughs> oh, boy, this is really lucky. Wait, uh... I... this isn't so good after all. You see, the thing is, I, I am still a mask star to mask. Shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! <laughs> Don't make me slap you! <laughs> oh, there we go. There she is. With that face. You did it, Phoenix. So I'm going to save it in case we have that whole thing where you can, like, present a yeah. random piece of evidence. <laughs> Actually, you did it, Mia, because, yeah, I didn't really... Yep, no, yep, that was entirely you. Like, I was all for giving I up. Lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. It's because Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything I don't take everything so seriously. 
But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of torn these days. You mean about becoming the master of the crying channeling school? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to our mother. Misty Faye, right? Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Mia. Ah, m Mr. Mr. Wright. Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Nothing. Say nothing else <laughs> until you <laughs> leave this courtroom. Because anything that. else you say might be an admission of guilt in some other case, and I'm not helping you again. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> Never darken my door again. Never darken my door. <laughs> if I see even a hint of those epaulets in your silhouette, I'm going to throw <laughs> something at you until you leave. Are we clear? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> yes, sir. Congratulations, Mr. Blake. Th th thank you so much. Uh, uh, no, wait. Uh, nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all of this... Oh, I missed that. Jeez. Come on, just be happy already. You've been cleared of the murder charges and got off as Bastard of Bast to boot! Well, but in exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? I didn't get to keep the sacred urn. <laughs> Stealing security information from KB Security, becoming Mask Star to Mask, I did it all for one reason. For her. You... Who else would... You mean your wife, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that. I knew that. But once I got fired from KB Security and lost all the money I had, she wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Mask Star to Mask? Yes. But it's all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together. Uh, that, that's actually... <laughs> there we go. That's not true. Right, Nick? Well, you don't really call the, urn a, a, the sacred urn a bowl. <laughs> call it a sacred earth. Wait, but... you mean I can't eat my cereals out of it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it might taste a little bit ashy. It's got, oh. like, remnants of ash and paint and <laughs> It's like, you know glue. how you know how when you have, like, Cocoa Puffs or something, it'll turn the milk chocolate? Uh. Just imagine that, but gray. Uh. It's like pink milk. Uh. It's lovely, lovely pink milk. Like a scene from Ghostbusters 2. Aww. <laughs> uh. Right. R really? C can we go back to the way things were? Oh, we can I don't know, man. Sense. I'm not a marriage counselor. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. And Nick can prove it. Oh, jeez. Right. I can what? <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> I was just getting ready to go to the car and never see this guy again. <laughs> well, did I say car? car. I meant to, I meant to say car? bicycle. <laughs> <So>. Bicycle. <laughs> I can't afford a car. <laughs> Uh, Unless it was made out of hamburger wrappers. <laughs> I can? I kind of wish you would check with me first. <laughs> Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there is always a way to put it back together. It's gotta be the sacred egg. Yeah. Yep. Take that! Just <laughs> smash it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> smash it on his head, Again. knock him unconscious, like, okay, Maya, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Wait, we need Pearly to put it back together again. <laughs> I am. Sure. The, uh, the sacred urn? Desi was the one who found this. Desiree, your wife. She's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, oh, oh, there you voice. are! <laughs> Wrong voice. <laughs> it's <isn't> me. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> like, now it's what's... me, darling. M Ms. Delight. You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! 
<laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate that, but, but um, I, I suppose you don't want any, anything more to do with me, do you? Ronnie? Why did you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit KB Security. I never imagined that you would really mass star to mask either. Miss Delight, what are you going to do now that you know? Y you're not going to really leave him, are you? Not that this is any of our business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's obvious, isn't it? I'm going to take him home and we're going to have a lovely dinner, and then who knows? No, oh, oh boy. <laughs> How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. Oh, jeez. I <laughs> hate thieves and criminals, <laughs> but I'd make a great getaway driver. <laughs> so fast that there's no way he could ever, he could, oh, he could ever get away. What, what are you in? Um, but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. Hey, pal, it's not- hey. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong detective. Not you. <laughs> yeah, it's my bad. She meant the ace detective, not the bumbling buffoon. <laughs> hey, that hurts, pal. That really hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his cries before he committed them like a man. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. Oh, darling. <laughs> chivalrous? I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Jesse? <laughs> Desiree, you really do love Ron, don't you? Nikki boy. Y yes I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, um, take care of yourself. Also, please don't forget to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Nikki boy. What's with all the ellipses? Should you give him a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Feel my face going red. <laughs> and then Maya's like, hey! <laughs> oh, 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 oh that's a what did she get? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's like there's a sensor. <laughs> there's like a sensor that goes off in yeah. Pearl's head when it's like Nick approaches another woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's getting ready. She's the, the slapping hand is being she's, prepared. She's just this whirlwind <laughs> coming down the train tracks. <laughs> just like she's just warming her hand up, ready to yeah. strike his face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about bad timing. <laughs> it's like a teapot on the yeah, stove. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Sarah, no, Mr. you're missing. Nate, how could you? Oh, I'll no, never no, forgive no. you. Never, ever. Oh, you get <laughs> In front of Nick has now movie. lost consciousness. <laughs> so, just as the case came to a close. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, if we just advance the text one more time. We did that thing again. <laughs> she, no, she, she, what she did, right, is she, she closed his chakra points with her, uh, with her Naruto <laughs> skills. So, just as the case came to a close. So too did my consciousness. Then, the next day, I found that we had a mountain of hamburgers, and my wallet was completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> Maya looked very smug with herself, and pearls too, but I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Gah. Gah. <laughs> Gah. Here's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. Except for the paint After splodges. it had been put back together incorrectly. <laughs> and then put back together correctly. Actually, not put back together by either of these two correctly, though. <laughs> no. It was actually Adrian Yeah, where's Adrian? Adrian, yeah, Adrian did it Adrian correctly. Adrian did it correctly in the end. <laughs> so, so I guess it's never established why the Shichishito got bent then. Oh. Oh, no. Why is Maya a maid? 
Because she works in the cafe. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh, get ready. Oh, Recipe what? for turnabout. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Is she going to get framed for poisoning a customer? Oh boy. Probably. Again. Right, here we go, guys. That's enough! This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. This case is extremely clear, and I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> the evidence and testimony we have seen are conclusive. The victim was alone oh, at his table when he drank. <laughs> No. Oh no. I... Taylor, if you've just oh, called it. this. <laughs> uh, are we doing. Oh. Do we need it to be Maya? I, I think don't it's, know. It is Maya, is it? uh. Oh. I saw, I saw else. someone else there. A man. He's the real. His feet. <laughs> what the? Yeah, <laughs> that hand. Yarasku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Salt Bay. Salt Bay? <laughs> Oh no, it's just he's got the same hair as Nick. Why won't anyone believe me? You say he's got the same hair as Nick, but I mean, that looked like me. Oh. Hey, he's winced! <laughs> it's your friend. Well, I'd say that pretty much wraps this case up, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright? This court finds the defendant. Guilty! <gasps> this court is adjourned. Just so you know, I'm not actually advancing any of this text. <laughs> it's just why it's like we've got to speak quickly. Yeah. These darn cutscenes. Da 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 da. Ah! The start of the new year always makes me feel like I can take on the whole world. Ah, and those hamburgers really helped. They really hit the spot. Mmm. <laughs> I bet it does, Maya. So, I've decided that our resolution should be. Zvari! Take on the world! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, uh, sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you've had more than enough mistletoe cake. Mistletoe, mistletoe cake? cake. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? I've never heard of it. Nope. nope. I guess <laughs> mistletoe poisonous? <laughs> I think so. Oh, I don't know. But I mean, you know, I guess in uh, Neo New New Tokyo, Neo New York Tokyo. What did we say it was New, New York, New what, York. What, what did we decide that it was in <laughs> New end? Neo New Tokyo? I think it was wasn't something it? like that. I, wasn't think it? So. I think it was Neo New Tokyo. Yeah, down in Neo New Tokyo. <laughs> Mistletoe cake, I guess, is fine. Never. You've got to eat a lot of cake during New Year's. It's practically a tradition, like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. No, that looks that's like, I'm pretty sure that's gumption. Hey, pal! Oh, well, that's a... Uh... Oh! <laughs> His voice yeah. has changed a bit, You've but... uh, been smoking the uh, 40 a day, pal! <laughs> hey, pal! <laughs> Here, oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Detective Gumshoe? I'm really angry, pal! <laughs> Happy New Year, Detective! Oh, uh, uh, likewise. Uh, now, listen up, right? <laughs> I wanna... <laughs> Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation! Uh, yeah, me too. All right, pal, you, you've got some explaining to do. Have you got a holiday present for me, detective? <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, well, I, uh, uh, yeah, have this. It's, it's really nothing much, but... Yay! Thanks! <laughs> it's like, look, pal, we need to have a talk. Take a seat. Hey, what about Pearly? <laughs> you haven't forgotten her <laughs> present, have you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like some lint out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's all he has. Uh, uh, no, 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 I, I mean, uh, yes, I mean, no, I, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> Guess I'm busted. How did you like my first practical joke of the year? Yeah, very funny, pal. And yeah, now let's see how funny you think this is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Hey, I want to see. Hmm, it looks like Phoenix. It looks like Nick there. Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict? Verdict? <laughs> Defense attorney right trounced? Done. Done. Tr trounced? Let me see that. Oh, it's that little tune again. Oh, yes. The defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? I'm not a childish amateur. I'm j I'm an adult amateur. <laughs> I'm just an... I'm just an... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a regular amateur. <laughs> I am a professional. <laughs> yeah, it's a report, pal, about you. 
Yes, detective, I can read that. <laughs> Listen to this. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case. Yeah, well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. Okay, but I don't... Re <laughs> but I don't remember anything about it. What was that issue from, anyway? Uh, <laughs> December of last year, which, uh, I guess makes it last month. <laughs> which makes it old news, you mean? But I wasn't involved in a poisoning case in December. Yeah, that's what you think, pal. It clearly says here, I, Phoenix Wright, I was, <laughs> was involved in a poisoning case this December. Oh, yep. you know what? I wonder if this is when that freaking bottle's gonna come back around. <laughs> what, did he poop it out then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Recycled. <laughs> hmm. So, what do you think this is all about, Nick? Yeah, if it wasn't you, pal, then that leaves only one possibility. No way! It was somebody else! <laughs> you don't mean... Somebody sp spirit channeled into your body! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not dead! No, I think nobody knows. A pho... A phony Nick? This must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke. Phony. Starting off right. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> guess, he, guess he's starting off the gear with one too. <clears throat> yeah. So, what you gonna do about it, pal? Well, what do you mean? What am I going to do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty in this case. What? The, what <laughs> my fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now. Well, Thank maybe you. only sort of. Yeah. yeah. Screw you. <laughs> yeah. See what happens when you hotshots start getting too full of yourselves. But I didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. At least not that I can remember. Yeah, you better make this right, pal. Now. And that means taking the case back to court. Got it? Sounds like but we've got double a... jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't involved in that case. I don't know what that is. Oh boy, this must have been one <laughs> heck of a Christmas party. <laughs> Sounds like we've got our first case of the new year. Let's tackle this with gusto. Uh, but I'm not gonna earn any money. I don't know. The judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. I guess that New Year's resolution is going to have to wait until next year. Yeah, so you're thinking the case, right? Good! I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? Uh, but I didn't actually... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. If a client entrusted a case to me based on my reputation, I guess I am kind of responsible. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of a guy would do that? A dick! I mean, I know I'm devilishly handsome, intelligent, <laughs> and have great hair, so I can understand why someone would want to be me, but still. Right, so, are we going to the detention center or the criminal affairs department? Hmm. Detention center. Yeah. Let's see who our mystery criminal is. Yeah. It's like it's actually Maya somehow. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> She's got an impersonate like it's somebody impersonating Maya as well. <laughs> <laughs> like literally seeing double. Yeah. This is so nerve wracking waiting to meet our new client. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Keep it down, Maya! That kind of talk could ruin me! No, I can't- I don't know who this is this time. Oh! So. <laughs> 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 like, it could be- uh, ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it, could, it could literally be anything, because I have no idea. Oh! Oh, oh it's god, her. it's her! Oh, it's her! It's Bird! Yes. Yeah, yes, oh, god, that's what, it. What was her voice again? How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? Oh yes, it was quite frantic, wasn't yeah. it? They put me in sol solitary! I haven't been able to stop crying! Uh, 
aren't you? Yes, I am. I totally and I am totally and utterly let down. Uh, you're. Are you? Don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie. Remember, Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> Maggie Bird. She's the policewoman I defended that one time. I think it was a tutorial section. <laughs> <laughs> she was accused of murdering her lover. It was a cop. I hate that they used the word lover. <laughs> Just say boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Too. It was much steamier than that, though. Oh, man. <laughs> I just love that, like, she's saluting in the maid outfit. It's like, yeah. this isn't how Nick would remember her. <laughs> like, he's like, she's well, there. Well, no, I wouldn't remember her at all. I just... <laughs> this is his fantasy image. I just love that the entire time that he was taking that case, he was imagining her in a maid outfit. Oh, boy. Like, God, jeez. Naughty Nick. Naughty Nick. Sad Maggie. What are you doing in here? Didn't I get you a quit... Oh, sure. Very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? You better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. <coughs> I vaguely remember her saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. It's one more disaster. What's one more disaster in my life? <laughs> At least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. Okay. I guess we best ask her some questions. So, how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? Oh, I don't know. I'm just cosplaying. <laughs> Last year, you looked so sharp in that police uniform. And now, you just look so... Uh. <laughs> hmm. I was fired after that incident last year. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. I just look like the way you're portraying. It's like, oh, I didn't mind. I didn't mind one bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> She's just like, like fighting back her demons the yeah, entire time. <laughs> oh, I, I just, didn't mind. I was sorry, I just, I just see her as just chaos <laughs> embodied. Yeah, she, she is, she was, she is quite chaotic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what she can't see right in the still image is like her, her eye twitching every time she speaks. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Like she's just developed a pronounced twitch. We don't have Apollo's bracelet, so we can't tell these tiny little uh, nuances here. <laughs> Wink. So, what do you do now? In the second act of the life of Maggie Bride, Bird, rather Bride, <laughs> I played the role of a waitress! A waitress? Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. I love the idea of, like, French maids. Bright orange. French maids. Yeah, it like, kind of goes what? against the it's a bit weird. traditional. Well, this is... This is America. <laughs> Maybe they don't know what a French maid. This isn't a French maid outfit. This is an American <laughs> maid outfit. It's a uh, from America. From America. <laughs> <laughs> My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. And the wow, owner, sir. Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. And then you got into this mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put it that way. What happened? This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. And it happened at Trebian. Trebian? <laughs> yes, it's a restaurant where good service and a friendly smile are always included. Oh. Whoa. What's his scatter oh. say? He's got, <laughs> he's got, he's got, he's got Vegeta, a scatter. What's his power up? <laughs> It's over 9,000! Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> Alright guys, now, now, my detective skills are telling me that that guy with the eyepiece is probably suspicious. <laughs> there were two men at a table, both drinking coffee. Well, everyone knows that coffee is the, uh, the, the, the drink of the devil. Yes. 
Because, yeah, so uh, they were both obviously terribly suspicious. And then? <laughs> salt bay. Salt bay. <laughs> Sprinkled some salt into the coffee. One of the men slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim just took one sip and it was gasping for air. I was so shocked I passed out. Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? No, no, no! i have never seen the guy before! Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. Another <laughs> man, the killer. You saw him, right? See, when I see that face, I just see, like, you remember, like, uh, Handsome Squidward? <laughs> I was about to say the same thing, yeah! yeah. Yes. It's like just Handsome Squidward, but with Nick's hair. Yeah, yeah, Jeez. yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Of course! A good waitress must be attentive to the clientele! So, you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway? How come? You tell me, Mr. Wright! Ah! Guess the answer to the question, or guess the answer to my question is my phony. Phony X Wright. <laughs> hey, we already had that joke. <laughs> Phone it. Anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. Guilty verdict. So, if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? <laughs> because no one else saw. Saw what? The other man. The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. But how's that possible? I don't know. But nobody saw one person. No. Oh, no, sorry. But nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. Even Phoenix Wright, my one last hope for a fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense! My granny could have done a better job! Look, that wasn't me, okay? And then... They found something a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? <laughs> Poison! <laughs> <laughs> a small bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Taylor, did I you mean, write this? I mean, <laughs> to, be f to be fair, Maggie... That does kind of sound incriminating. <laughs> I just like that, Taylor. Were you? Did you actually write this game? Is that what's happening? <laughs> it's not that you're Nick. It's that you wrote this game <laughs> and you conned us into, what, into trying to get you to play it with us, so that you could be like, uh -huh, check out this game that I wrote. <laughs> I, I'm I'm wondering if it's going to be like the same bottle that Nick has. If they've just reused the, yeah. the same sprite. Yeah. What? B poison? It was in your pocket? Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. <laughs> this freaking handsome Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> and no one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's what everyone has said. But I don't see how they could have missed him. It's like, you know it's not Phoenix because he's far too buff. Yeah. <laughs> he works out hey! far too much. <laughs> Nick doesn't work out far enough at all to look anything like that guy. Anywhere oh, near I him. ride my bike places. <laughs> <laughs> my leg muscles are not to be <laughs> discriminated his, his against. His leg muscles are good, but does that's he lift? She, that's what you can't see, right? Is that like, so you only ever see <laughs> Nick's torso, but his legs are actually enormous. He's like, he's like the Chun Li of the lawyer. Chun Li. Role. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he can fight in Straight Fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, yeah. I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Uh, oh? And what was your impression of them? Well, one of them had a prop from some sort of a anime. <laughs> <laughs> well... When I first saw them, I, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. Yeah, because that's a really common thing oh, yes, you see you... in the music industry. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, every every music industry professional wears a scouter to identify musical potential. <laughs> that's just that's just standard equipment. <laughs> What's the scouter say about his music proficiency? <laughs> it's under nine thousand. <laughs> In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. Emo. Emo. That's, that's a word for it for a while. Uh, there was a sample CD on the table, sir. He didn't look anything like an emo. His no. Hair, he didn't have the poofy hair, the no. piercings. No, he didn't have the, the, the big eyeliner. poofy hair, the side fringe. Yeah, he didn't look like an emo. He looked like a, like a, a rapper, a hip-hop guy yeah. to me. Then again, am I, perhaps I'm being rude. Perhaps I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't stereotype. Also, also, in what world is that an earpiece and not an eyepiece? That's well, not yes. an earpiece is something that just covers your ear. Well, <laughs> not something that makes you look like you're from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC. Something? See, hip hop. They must have been preparing for their rap debut, rap. I guess. Or rap rock. But yeah. So it was a band CD. Maybe a promo disc? Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. What? Get serious, Maya. Would you buy the CD of a group named that? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> of course. I mean, almost as much as I'd buy MC Hamburger. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> what was the name of that group again? MC Hacksaw. If it's hamburger. No. MC. Please be hamburger. Oh, uh, what about the killer? What did he look like? Well, I um, I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man, well built, like the victim. Really. Really, the victim didn't look buff like the killer. No. Like handsome Squidward. Well, he didn't look emo either, so no. no. Well, yeah, I guess it's, none of the. It's a good thing we've right. got flashbacks to rely on. <laughs> yes, right. So I guess we're gonna go to. Can we show the thing just out of curiosity? Well, this. Yeah. We go like, hey, I'm a lawyer. No, you <laughs> badge. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to ask you about this. Well done, Sarah. Hey, this article's about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir! It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you in the visitor's room here. Uh, you were wearing one of your super sharp suits. It really threw me with Phoenix's face being perfectly symmetrical there. Yes. It's just like, whoa, <laughs> it just looks kind of weird. So what they've done, right, is they, they drew half of the face and then reflected it across the x-axis. Yeah, it yeah. looks like it. The only thing that's different is like that bit of shadow under his mouth. Yeah. Oh, and I guess like his collar, but mm. his face looks perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, to me. it does. <laughs> it's weird. Me? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Ugh. Hey, Maggie, was my evil double I'm a that I I I, I am I am <laughs> I am I am. Hey, Maggie, was my evil double I am here too? No, I don't remember a phony you, Maya. <laughs> You're not important oh. enough. <sighs> that would have been so cool. <laughs> <laughs> then you got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you clear to clear to this cr this crime. You said. <laughs> I'm gonna get you clear to this crime. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm gonna laugh if it was actually like Goodo or something, <laughs> like trying to make Nick look bad. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's me, Phoenix Rat. You know I always <laughs> talk like this. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna get you clear to this crime. <laughs> He's got the visor Actually, on and everything. That's a, yeah. Sounds more like a like a fake Mario. I'm gonna get you clear to this crime. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> it's -a me, a Phoenix Knight. <laughs> Let's go! Let's I'm go. gonna get you clear to this crime. I just oh my goodness. Ba 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 ba, and then he just like just oh. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the magic of mushroom before I get to the cot. Wah! I'm gonna get you clear to this crime. That's supposed to be Wario. Wario. But anyway, anyway, anyway. No, the, the Wario would be pain in that case, right? Wah! <laughs> He's a client as guilty as a sin. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. 
Okay, I get... <laughs> okay, I get the picture, but you've met me in person before. So, how come you didn't realize that guy wasn't the real me? Well, I just thought you'd been working out. Uh, I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Well, okay, so you're a bit taller than normal, and you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird. Oh, and you had this kind of funny accent, and... <laughs> so the guy was nothing like me, then? But he had your spiky hair and blue suit. Is that all it takes for someone to imitate me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of, like, Winston Payne. <laughs> no! <laughs> In a blue suit with some sort of wig. <laughs> yeah. But the, but the toupee's a little bit too small and it keeps like shifting around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's me, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> yeah, you know. <coughs> yeah, the defense attorney. <laughs> I got a sore throat. <laughs> How about everyone else in the courtroom? Like the judge and the observers? Didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their faces. What, literally? What? <laughs> there was a Jigglypuff in the room. The Jigglypuff! <laughs> and, it was, and it was very angry that it sent them all to sleep, so it drew question marks on everyone's faces. Uh, but it seemed that, like, no one wanted to say anything, sir. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah, you're, not, you're telling me. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So, we should be able to get a retrial. Um, Mr. Wright? Hmm? Do you think we'll win next time, sir? Uh, well, it, it's hard to say without any of the facts. Mm -mm. My life has been a full-course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat for dessert. Hey, 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 what about that time when you won? <laughs> the other case? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment oh my building. Gosh. Oh Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I was in a coma for twelve years. <clears throat> I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods. My goodness! Failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced most almost every kind of disaster. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. But. I will survive, because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day! And one day I'll find it! You just wait and see, sir! You have had one success already, Maggie. I don't count that! <laughs> <laughs> it was a failure at heart! I'll find that one single moment of good luck! That second moment. Oh, gosh. Uh, what? Zinyuf? Phoenix backwards. Yeah, yeah. Zinyuf! 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 Ah, Zin uh, Zinyop is really gonna pay for this. <laughs> but what are you staring at me like that for? Maya, what are you talking about? <laughs> but Maya's right. I can't say that out loud, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever th it is that thought it was a good idea to use my name... Nick rolls his sleeves up. They're gonna pay! <laughs> And get an innocent girl convicted of murder and better watch out! We'll find him, don't you worry. We'll get Zinio for you! <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, I'll tell you where Trebian is then. Trez. Ah, right, the restaurant where the murder took. Nick! Yes, sir! Nicholas! <laughs> <laughs> it's been ten minutes! <laughs> Where'd you go? Please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi! Sure! Alright, Nick. Let's go check out this restaurant and its food. I'm going to be so disappointed if the owner of the restaurant does not look like General Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my wow. god, it's very oh pink. My goodness. Jesus. <laughs> I'm half expecting to see, uh, what's her name in there? From the first one, April, May? Oh no, God no. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> oh my god, the chef! Oh it's not the chef. Oh no, the chef! Oh no, not him! I forgot about oh, him! Oh no! Oh no! Ooh. 
I swear, do I have to do it? Do you think I should? Do I guess I should, shouldn't I? Can you do it? Uh, oh, oui, oui, monsieur. Oh, oh, oui, oui, monsieur. <laughs> I guess maybe. Oh, très bien, oh. très bien. It's a little bit sexual, but. <laughs> I know, but I love it. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, f screw it. I'll, um, <laughs> I guess I'll be the chef. You'll see, Taylor, you'll see. Wow. Look at this place! In fact, there's already a wee little preview on screen. <laughs> I do see, I do see. <laughs> Look! More like smell. What is with the suffocating scent of flowers in here? <clears throat> then again, girls like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not all that into it. I'm more like standing under like freezing cold showers and. <laughs> uh. Mm. Uh, no one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here. Why is there a newspaper just randomly stuck behind the thing? I don't know. Also, what's with that sort of <laughs> the picture of the dude on the uh, on the shelf there? That guy on the top, like, oh, look at me, everybody. <laughs> I'm a model. <laughs> oh, check me out. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant, and it's open for business. Hello? <laughs> Anyone here? <laughs> <What> the... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose we might just go and grabs the cash register. Yeah. Kind of put it in your pocket. Okay, Nick. <laughs> let's go get hamburgers. Quick, run. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look at the cash register. Look, it's one of those magic boxes that spits out money. Yeah, yeah. She's like already pulling it off Ooh, the countertop. Oh, shiny. <laughs> You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register in that way. <laughs> in no, my culture, Pearl probably would too. Yeah. In my culture, there's no such thing as this sort of currency money. Value. <laughs> Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. All these little bottles. <laughs> I bet Mr. Armstrong collected all of these personally. Let's see. Bouquet of flowers, some potpourri, and look! Fine bone china cups! Mm, I never knew you were so. cultured. Why does she look worried? <laughs> she <laughs> said with disgust. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're cultured? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, Maya, this is common knowledge! Any Joe Schmo knows this much. <clears throat> okay then. A rack full of fashion magazines, and they're all in French. Why don't you wear this? Why don't you try wearing something a bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my acolyte clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and again. Hmm? There's something <coughs> stuffed in behind the rack. Looks like a sports paper to me. A sports almanac? <laughs> hey, and look at this! Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. <laughs> MC Bomber. <laughs> God. MC. Is that mask start a mask? It does look like that. <laughs> it does, yeah. MC Bomber and. One, two, three, four, five zeros? Yeah, actually. A, a, a hundred thousand dollars? Maybe? That does look like mascara mask, mask now you mention it. Yeah, it's it really got does. The, the pauldrons and everything. Yeah. I wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. Huh? Th this paper. It's from December 3rd. This paper is from the day of the poisoning. What? Well done, Nick. I'm impressed you even managed to remember the date. <laughs> a paper from the day of the murder. This has got to be a clue. I should see if I can find out some more about this paper. I don't think there's uh, anything else. Oh, I guess other than the... Oh, no. Not the picture on the wall. I guess we could look at the door. Feel mm. me. It's the restaurant's front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door written in French. It probably says open or closed. It must be one or the other, but I don't know which since I don't know Jacques about French. 
Ha ha! This table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not a sunflower, I... Duh! Even I could have told you that! <laughs> well, those are the only kinds of flowers I know! Dag nabbit, I'm a lawyer, not a botanist! <laughs> wow, this is a, a timely Star Trek reference there, Nick. He's really, uh, he's just really uh, defensive about it. I mean, I suppose he is a defense lawyer. But... <laughs> wow, it's a beautiful winter wonderland out there. Really? Cool! I love snow! Let me see! Huh? It's not white. It's not even snowing. Got you! I was only kidding, Maya. Nick! <laughs> there are lies that are okay to tell and lies that are definitely aren't. <laughs> All I did was tell an itty bitty white lie about non-existent white snow. I mean, you do these sorts of pranks all the time, Maya. <laughs> it's like, we literally walked in here together. How did you not know it was snowing? <laughs> <laughs> or how did you not know that it wasn't snowing? This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so, with all this police tape all around it. And that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. Then why can I picture you doing just that? Hey! It's like so Maya <laughs> wasn't thinking wasn't thinking about it before he said it, and then after he said it, she was seriously considering it. <laughs> <laughs> This restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your right or left. Are there are there tables? To, are we only seeing like half the restaurant? Yeah, maybe. I guess that's it then. There was something on the book <coughs> rack still. Magazine rack, I think. Oh. What? Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this. Yeah. It's, okay. I guess. Yeah. I guess not. Pointless. It's just that bit of dialogue that's like, yes, this is where we found the thingy. We'd best find out more info about it. Yeah. Mm. So I guess that's it then. Mm. I, guess I like to imagine she's been holding that salute since we left. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Oh, a sports paper. Let's see. Let's see. Did Guts and Bra manage to defend the heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie, that paper's actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. The day of the murder. And Gutson got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack at Tre Tress Bayan. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's strange. Trebian doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind? Anyway, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Aha! That's it, sir! MC Bomber! That was the name that was written on the CD! Just as I thought. I guess it wasn't MC Screwdriver after all, huh? <laughs> so that $100,000 must be a down payment for a record deal, right? If someone gave me a hundred thousand dollars, I'd sing for sure. The Master of Karine, or the Spirit Song, or even Maya's theme. I like to imagine that Maya's just aware of the, the Turnabout Sisters theme song that plays whenever she's on screen. <laughs> and that she would be singing that. She'd just be singing... <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay, Maya... So, if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means this newspaper may have belonged to the victim. You're right. You're right. Right? <laughs> so the victim left this behind on the day of the murder, huh? I think we'd better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? <laughs> okay. On that note, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, actually, ironically, 
Before we get into anything else, it does appear that we've run out of time uh, for that. I was thinking, like, is that bye-bye mm. from us? Or, <laughs> it's or, like, or, oh, it's actually both. <laughs> bye-bye to Maggie and bye-bye from us. <laughs> awesome. Well, that, that went quick. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, the our, content. Our content. <laughs> and our silly shenanigans. Um, yes. If you really do enjoy these uh, videos that we put out, don't forget to like, smash subscribe. Smash the like button. Sorry, smash the like button. Uh, like, gently, subscribe. Gently caress the subscribe button. And, uh, <laughs> uh, give the bell a little ring-a-ding-a-ling. -a ring-a-ding-a-ling and do the happy dance. Yep, yeah, if you want to. If, if, you're you feeling, want. if you're feeling like you want to dance, do a happy dance. Yeah. And so, yeah, and so with that, that's been us signing off. Yeah. It's been an honor and a privilege. Yep, yeah. goodbye for now. Take care, everyone.